So Claire Guerin received her master's from the Sorbonne in, uh, with a focus on conservation and restoration and as well preventive conservation. She's worked in those, two, in those areas as well. And from 1994, she's performed conservation and restoration of works of art from the collection of Bernard Ruiz, uh, Ruiz Picasso and Christine Reyes Picasso, managing risks from, the te from uh, temporary exhibitions. Okay, so thank you. Uh, thank Buenas tardes. Gracias al Museo de recibirme para hacer esta presentación, una reflexión sobre el movimiento y gracias a ellas que me ha preguntado de hablar de este. Mira, según Jonathan Ashley Smith, los riesgos que son cuatro veces mayores para un objeto que viera que para un objeto que permanece permanentemente expuesto. Sigue siendo Picasso una víctima de su popularidad. 71 exposiciones de Picasso. Exhibitions on Picasso worldwide in 2017, we've seen an acceleration. We see that artworks travel faster and faster, especially for the favorite works that do not have time to go back home and rest. And We've entered a system of massive loans, and the time for restoration purposes is shorter and shorter. We are also undergoing a cultural shift where permanent co collections become temporary collections in a museum in order to be more attractive. This translates into internal movements and displacements that depend on the structures and the availability of the, equip the teams. Picasso used oils, um, gouache, aquarelles, etc., on different kinds of supports. He used ready to use canvas with industrial prep preparation with different kinds of primers, colorants, respecting or not the rules of Greece. There are some examples of these executed sometimes in extreme environmental conditions and different degrees of uh, drying. And sometimes he overlaps paint on or previous paintings. This affects the conservation of the works and can trigger physical and chemical reactions. Furthermore, there's uh, the issue with the uh, conservation issues, storage issues, sorry. Please let me say that all, I'm going to show you a number of pictures of some issues. This is related to a soft layer. This is a different system, a different layer. It's quite fragile, strains, and when it is dismantled after preparation. Many risks can be mitigated preparing the works, and the degree of the interventions depends on the fragility, the nature of transportation, destination, etc. You must also bear in mind that restoration works can generate a change in the state of the support and the painting layer, and this leading to an unknown risk. We need protocols in order to have more time in, in an era where time is scarce. The actions that must be carried out require to identify and risks and reduce um, hurdles and, obst and obstacles. It is essential, therefore, in the reports on an exhibition, especially when there's no known risks. In the proposed tables, manipulation is nail by nail. And here we have three different colors, pink, an object outside its uh, native home, and blue, 
Sorry, I didn't mean home. I meant box. That was a mistake made by the speaker. And in blue, an object that's it, that travels in its box. Especially in airborne transportation, you have to bear in mind, for example, the charge and discharge, safety regulations in access in airports, and storage uh, constraints. Sometimes, in order to install an artwork, you have to uh, transport it to charge, to discharge it several times, several times, and each and every time we have to repeat the same recommendations. We have to pose ourselves the right answers: what, where, when, how, who, why, and how many. Before drawing up the specification of the crates, knowledge of the works, their state of conservation and their health requirements is essential. The preliminary condition report will thus make it possible to evaluate the fragilities likely to evolve and to determine the gripping areas useful for the handling of the works. It is carried out in grazing light to facilitate the identification of visible areas that are likely to change. It is very difficult to establish the actual state of con conservation of an object with a simple uh, visual examination. The cur courier must be familiar with the conditions of conservation of his own institution and the sensitivity of the works he is transporting. It it's still very difficult to really know the condition of the object and to assess the fatigue of the materials used in the work and the restoration products when the measuring devices are not reliable. And the information provided by the museums is not always representative of the real situation that the works are undergoing. What about the verification of the effectiveness of assembly and hanging systems and the geographical location of works that can create micro-vibrations and cause mechanical damage to works? The loan history is fundamental as it identifies the risks already incurred, hence the importance of reports in order to be able to record the invisible that can become visible. The study of previous findings will shed light on the fatigue of materials, the suspicion of a passage from a pictorial, pictorial layer of a plastic to a state of rupture, may lead to classifying a painting as one of, of the most sensitive, even untransportable objects in a collection. New control devices with multiple applications, safety, humidity, temperature, vibration, everything, and data that can be downloaded to mobile phones are available on the market. But if they can be used for the loan of one or two works, what about mass loans? They have a cost of purchase, maintenance, and significant updates. In addition, whether during installation or sanitary surveillance, can we really assess the condition of an object when there are 400 works to be inspected with or without a weekly, weekly closing day? Here are some aspects of the real life of a work of art in motion. The crates, hand in hand during the installation, retouch before and after, installation, the intensity of natural light and um, temperature shocks, health and safety controls, artistic activities. This is not Picasso, but since it was so nice, I decided to include it in my presentation. A baby. A baby that actually throws up over a painting. That's just horrible. For example, the affluence, the selfie culture, insects, both indoors and outdoors, dust, the efficiency of protections when the painting is unprotected. Perception of risk incurred by a work is subjective. It is a question of situation oneself accurately. 
without under or over evaluating them. However, for many, when you say crate, you mean protection. And here you can see some examples of crates and boxes, cardboard and double crate offering uh, multiple kinds of protections, etc. Some crates here with uh, two legs that allow us to handle the piece of art, especially with very fragile, large um, artworks. This is another example. And this is when we carry out tests for a particular work that took actually 10 years to complete. The possibility of quickly seeing the object without having to touch it will be useful for possible customs controls, but also to check its condition after transport. And this will be an opportunity to give unpacking instructions for sensitive works. The materials, the materials of the thin thermal reflective insulation type allow us to improve the insulating qualities of the boxes with a consequent gain in volume and weight. It also facilitates the reuse of crates for extreme conditions and the use of control tool guides on the actual levels of protection to be provided for works of art. In air transport, the largest peaks recorded by vibration detectors occur during pallet handling and transfer from the freight area to the tarmac and vice versa. Then come the takeoff and landing, and peaks are specifically during carriage or pallet truck movements and during loading and unloading. In contrast, a complete air suspension absorbs shocks, but tends to accentuate, accentuate oscillatory movements that can induce damage to works. For example, the move on, of the canvas on the support, or in that case, when it is dismantled for transport. Transport is the time when the most imponderables are encountered. It must be ensured that the work protocols set by the company correspond to the recommendations. Also, habits are indeed very difficult to change, especially without the presence of a conveyor. It is difficult to control all operations where there is an increased growth in the outsourcing of operations and cost and changes in security measures. We must study the course of the works very well. In the interior of the museum, also outside, what kind of operations that can be carried out with safety or not without safety. Also, it will be useful to specify the material required. The mutualization, the courier must be familiar with the conditions of conservation of his own institution and the sensitivity of the works he's transporting. He must be also familiar with the packaging of the works of art and to be able to quickly assess the risk in the event of an incident during transport. It should not be forgotten that once the box is closed, it will generally be the only one, the courier, from loading to unpacking to know the work, its condition, and its arrangement in the crate. I will separate the theory of the conveyor guide with practice. The conveyor was not always able to attend the packing or make the condition report. At the best, he had pictures and copies of the reports to familiarize himself with the works. In case of mutualization, it is rare for the conveyor to have access to this kind of information. So we are into a system of supervision that could be described as at risk. It should be also remembered that the participants are also overwhelmed by work. Temporary exhibitions are scheduled on the same dates all over the world. In reality, the control of all stage is time-consuming in the time of preparation and installation that we are giving. 
when a courier is responsible for a large number of works, 60 or more, a standardization of instructions and handling is introduced, which does not make it possible to target real risks of the objects transported. So then we enter into a system of emergency planning where it is necessary to establish priorities and make compromises. Thanks to the insurance values of some Picasso paintings that reduce the number of crates in the transport, but other painted works are not always so lucky. And not only must we have to know, but also to understand the choices that have been made to make the right decisions. Here, for example, these legs are useless because it is not necessary to buy such a, a crate. Overprotected, uh, super insulated crates in the autumn season, for example, are they enough? I really like this one. Effectiveness against the spectacular. Overprotection to deal with the unexpected can lead to other risks. What about the conservation of works that are packed in a super isothermic, totally waterproof and without buffer material after having remained exposed for several days in environmental conditions approaching 70% of relative humidity. And the same applies when it's 30%. I don't have time to explain that. What are the options available to us to minimize the risk and the failure mechanism when Pablo Picasso's paintings move? Invest in well-designed enclosed enclosures. The materials that make up the work should not act as a buffer material. The waterproofing of the frame solves problems related to transport, exhibition times, packaging and unpackaging. And it authorizes loans in defaulting reception centers. Also, the installation of wedges or cushions reduces the impact of vibrations. The assistance in raising public awareness of measures to protect works. We have to build company loyalty despite public procurement agreements and make it profitable to rent transport crates in order to have a sufficient budget to ensure the presence of a courier. And to comply by doing so with this sustainability possible. More than compromise, the human factor remains essential for risk reduction. The choice of factors or stakeholders and the recruitment of teams that must be united are essential. Bringing skills and knowledge together in working groups means opening up a successful space where discussion, complementarity, and a customized network of help and advice conducive to the transmission of knowledge can be established with kindness. Just to more sentences. A versatile and motivated staff, efficient transport crates, knowledge, control tools, increasingly sophisticated, enough time to make good associations, staff to meet the demand. And I'm going to stop there because I shouldn't be saying so, but every, everyone here knows what we do need. To dream, but to, to preserve the cult of the original, but not to pour under the pretext of preserving the works into the presentation of digital exhibitions. Thank you, and thank you to all those who take good care of transport. Thank you very, very much. Does anybody have a question? No, this is not a question. This is congratulations to you because you have provided a view of a real scenario in the case of Picasso and many other artists, as we know. And you've also given it firsthand because you have the experience required to speak with authority. authority. Thank you very much. Do you have any specific advice for the audience when they're dealing with so many different possible risks and you're trying to work, the, work out the risk assessment, 
Do you have any pieces of advice or suggestions for people when they're working with, to, to try and hone in on the most important, um, the most important risks, the proportion of risks where they should focus? Do you have any suggestions? It's, it's the, usually the, when you see the report of the insurance, it's during the transport, always. And during the transport, the problem now with all the change of, uh, you know, at the airport, the security from 2001, and even now in France with uh, Vigipirat and the problem with uh, security with all the problem that we have in Europe. Uh, now it's beginning worst because uh, it's even when you prepare the exhibition and when, when you prepare the transport, you have some... Uh, something that happened and you can't make nothing. Now, when you go to London sometimes, when I go to London a couple months ago, and we are three track, different track with different company, we are three verification, and at the hand, they opened the track before it was not like that, and now we can go to London and take 11 hours when before it was five hours. These kind of things, you know. The problem is that it's you have a good crate, you have a courier, your courier who knows what happened, uh, the, the good company for the transport, just to, when I said, uh, um, you have to explain and to, to, you know, to the company if you have uh, a special artwork, you can make that, you can make that. Uh, but now, like I said, with the time, with the number of uh, first time of, uh, of loan, you, it's difficult to organize before it was vacation, you know? <laughs> Even three, three years ago, it was vacation. You have the time to make all what you want, and it's not perfect, but it's okay. It's correct, but we want. We want, but it's just correct. But now, to be correct, it's beginning to be difficult, even when you know and when you have a very good staff. Thank you. That was great. Wonderful. Thank you very much.